As we all, of course, know, capitalism fosters a meritocracy, where whether you rise to the top or stay down in the dregs is decided entirely by your own skills and abilities, with no luck involved at all. And that right there is why Stephen Kenneth Bunnell II has destroyed his way up to the peak of the extremely online political commentary scene by playing video games while saying gamer things. Banelings are a lot like rape, okay? Your lings have to. Your lings are like the hand that reaches around and holds the waist, and the banelings are you and in inserting yourself into his body. Okay, that's how it has to go. Haha, <laughs> 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 hilarious. Back before he made it, though, Duke Stephen, who's better known as Destiny, was a regular old worker from a fairly humble background. How did I end up cleaning carpets? I used to supervise in a restaurant. He studied music in college and had to work really, really hard to sustain himself. So hard, in fact, that he ended up having to drop out because he just had no time to study. It's depressing as fuck, dude. When you score fucking 35 on the ACT and then you fail fucking entry level like music history courses because you're missing classes, is really fucking depressing. So I failed school, blah blah blah, because of that. Steven thought that the higher ups in his workplace were incompetent and unworthy of their positions. So blah blah blah, I call my manager, okay? My manager fucking hates me. This bitch is such a bitch. She's such a bitch. I don't even know. I don't even know what else to say about her. And he lamented the way that his employers pretty much treated him like garbage, despite the fact that he was actually really good at his job. Okay, I got pissed off, fucking gave her my badge and left. I came in to talk to the HR lady, because I was like, there's no fucking way. Like, I fucking threw my life away. Like, I knew every area of that job better than any fucking other employee there, okay? And, and yeah, the HR lady was just as bad. But that was before he ascended to the heights of streamerdom, where he now makes so much money that his streaming setup alone is worth more than all the physical and monetary assets of yours truly combined. Something that he, of course, absolutely deserves, as he is definitely worth about 5,000 times more than me as a human being. Are you mad, bro? You sound a little bit flustered, bro. Maybe you should pull the dick out of your mouth. What's up? No, I am definitely not mad. Now that Destiny has reached the mountaintop, he has discovered and bequeathed upon us the truth about the workers. They're all really stupid and barely human and need superior beings to tell them what to do. Welcome to meritocracy. Unlike those stupid fools, Destiny knows things, and he knows them really, really good. That's why he's an elite political debater slash commentator who destroys his opponents. Their feeble minds bore him so much that it drives him to the brink of suicide. He's so damn good and qualified for what he does that he knows better than to bother with old, useless stuff like philosophy. Huh. <laughs> He's taken philosophy 101, and that's enough. Who cares about Plato, or Aristotle, or whatever old Greek statue man? After all, might makes right, and destiny is the mightiest. There's no evidence of communist, of stable communist country in the world. And you know why? Because of capitalism, capitalist country in the world fuck all us up. It's I mean, even if that was true, that's not my fault that your economic system is too weak to resist outside pressure. If anything, that's not oh an argument my for capitalism. I, well, Jeez. I'm sorry, like, if your countries Let roll over because they can't defend themselves, that sounds like a good argument for my oh system. My well, hold on. He's just so damn good and has such correct politics that he can destroy anyone in a debate while playing video games. Just take a look at him dismantling these leftist fools with the logic and reason that got him to where he is today. Here, Holy to fucking lefty country. politics aides wants me to fucking kill myself. Yeah, why wouldn't you- why Because I don't want to pay interest with cash that I already fucking have! Why the fuck would I pay interest when I have money in an investment? Why would I take it a loan from the bank and use my own investments to secure that loan and then pay interest to the bank when I could just liquidate my own fucking shares? My, why the fuck would I- This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life! Because you don't have to pay taxes when you take a loan, but if you liquidated stuff that you have a capital gain in, you'll have to pay taxes. That's why. Despite being a 31-year-old man, well past his prime gamer years, Destiny proves that grown men can still have heated gaming moments with the best of them. The Overlord will serve as a retard magnet. Kyle, it's a retard magnet! But I should be allowed to say the words like nigger or faggot within the context of an appropriate discussion. Um, but I said the, I said the F word and I called him a retard or whatever. Um, apparently that was bad. 
He's also super educated and understands the ideas of his opponents in and out, and he certainly never needs to resort to throwing out the same gotcha over and over again to actual philosophy professors who are trying earnestly to explain basic concepts to him. Yeah, so the premise of the question was about international competition, mm -hmm. and this does go back to the point um, about whether we're envisioning the United States as an island of socialism in uh, in a still capitalist world. And I suggested earlier that I I wouldn't expect it to happen that way, as opposed to saying like we literally like need to have like a global socialist government. Like that just seems like so unrealistic to me that like I don't really know how to right, right? like. Um, but just like the idea of like screeching right now about like global socialist governments, it just seems like so far out of the real of anything. But that's the problem too. Is the guy already conceded? He's like, well, in order for this to work, we we need like a global global socialist government and it's like okay <laughs> we don't debate to learn no we debate to win using gamer tactics hey why don't you chill normally we suck dick between games faggot Writing? Huh, <laughs> no thanks. Can't make any money from that. Livestream debates only, which are definitely the best way to figure out what's right and wrong, always. Reading books? Ah, uh, how about no? Okay, I'm not gonna fucking read a book. Destiny is way above that garbage. Books read count? Zero. Studying? Um, that's for white men. He doesn't need to study anything. Oh, oh, wait, shit. Incredible gamer intuition is all that Destiny needs to have the correct political opinions on everything. The status quo, which just so happens to benefit him, is ideal. And anyone who advocates for anything else is just stupid and dumb, and should probably get a real job like professional video game angry man. And if you disagree, well, huh, I hope you're ready for the fury. Oh my god! That's so good. Oh, I fucking hate this game! He is definitely not a guy with a flawed, abrasive, incredibly arrogant personality that impedes him from self-improvement, introspection, or ever actually learning anything. He is not just trying desperately to maintain his income by going after new targets. His opinions have always been consistent, and definitely do not suspiciously change every couple of months specifically to antagonize his audience and cause controversy that helps to keep the money flowing in. So there you have it, folks. Stephen Kenneth Bunnell II is making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year as a political commentator because he's just that much more knowledgeable, qualified, and just plain better at it than everyone else who isn't. That's just how the world works, buddy. Capitalist realism. Look it up. Hey folks, so just a bit of a disclaimer here, I would normally not make a video like this that just kind of insults an individual so much. But Destiny has not only styled himself as some sort of expert on politics despite being wholly politically illiterate, but he's also so egotistical, so arrogant, and has been such a huge dick to so many people that I think it's pretty much just fair game at this point. So don't expect more of this type of content from me, it's pretty much just gonna be a one-off. Great news if you're new here though. My other stuff is way better than this video, and way more informative, so go check it out right now. Now, I'd just like to thank my amazing patrons for their support, and remember, you could be one of them yourself if you just head on over to Patreon right now and pledge me some money. Leftist Tech Support, Inga Leonara, Kira B, Tija, The Antifada, BJ Hansen, Daniel S, Diego A. Salvati, Lee Kortash Gullet, Key to the Fields, Alejandro, Mata Testa, Industrial Robot, and Jamie the Kami. Thanks all. Bye.